you guys welcome back to my channel it has been a couple of months since you've last seen me and if you're new to my channel welcome if you found me through makeup tutorials or Instagram I'm a beauty and lifestyle blogger I've been doing a lot of like reels and TikToks on makeup looks but I'm also nine months pregnant due any day and by the time you see this there's gonna be about three days until my due date um, I'm due Saturday August 13th so any day now and it's kind of just like a little little waiting game but I figured since it's been a couple months since I uploaded I feel really bad about that I wanted to show you guys some things that I got like for my baby shower some like big items that might be helpful to new moms or if you're currently a mom to like a young baby I'm going to show you guys my bassinet and like my baby Brezza and like different products and why I chose them um if you have any any like comments if you've used these products and you like them or dislike them feel free to leave it down below but be easy on me because I have never had a baby before so I'm just going with the flow just trying to learn like you know as I go so be easy on me <laughs> but I figured this would be a good way to come back because I'm sure once she's here I will uh, be uploading more pregnancy has just been really hard for me I've had a tough pregnancy um, lots of like morning sickness but more like throwing up just constantly this whole pregnancy um, that's not like a complaint that's just like a truth of what I've gone through and I just want to be transparent with you guys because if you're going through that too I, it's really hard it's not easy but um, I'm hoping once she's here life will be a little bit different and I'll be able to film more um, and share my my journey as a new mom so let's go ahead and get started basically I'm just gonna show you guys like some big items that I got um, and I'm also gonna have a hospital bag video coming up after this one so let's go ahead and jump into it I apologize about my hair and my makeup nothing special today I'm just in a t-shirt I'm just exhausted and full glam is it's not gonna happen right now <laughs> all right so let's hop right into this my dog one of my dogs is right here so if you see her she's just hanging out but two of the things that I got one is a boppy pillow I heard a lot about these and I thought that this was really cool I know it's like for nursing but I think you can also kind of just use it to to kind of like you know hold, help when you're holding the baby so that it could rest on there so you're not like you know your arms aren't getting tired you different kind of ways to use it throughout the months and I thought that was pretty cool it says zero months plus feeding three months plus propping six months plus tummy time nine months plus sitting so it has many different uses and I thought the pattern was super cute one thing I worried about was um you know because this is my first child and it's a girl of course I want pink 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 I'm very girly myself but um I was worried that when we had a boy you know I'm not I'm gonna want to like change things up a little bit and probably do like the nursery a different color and have a different color scheme so what am I gonna do if I want these things to be different colors but a lot of these expensive like pillows and products have covers which is really cool so you can basically get whatever pattern you want but research because most of the time you can get a nice cover one of my best friends got me the docketot so I got her hers when I when she had her baby so I just thought that was really funny I got her like the marble kind and this one is the pink one so I thought that this was really nice and awesome and such a good gift I know everybody that has them uses them and loves them so I was really excited to get the Doc Tot. All right, right behind me I have the Diaper Genie um, I heard this is like love it or hate it we'll see but I'm like wondering if I'm gonna go into labor soon because this dog is not leaving me alone right now and usually like if I'm filming she'll go somewhere but you know she's just like whatever I'm sitting with my mom and like I sometimes get like freaked out when my dogs like follow me around or like won't leave me out of their sight because I think something's gonna happen whether good or bad I'm unsure <laughs> so 
<laughs> just don't mind her. Okay, but back to the diaper genie. So I don't know, I'd be interested to hear if you have this and if you love it or you hate it. But basically, I was excited to get this. I thought it was a really cool concept and I hope that it helps with diaper changes. And interesting thing is right now our nursery is kind of like half a nursery because we have an office and then the other half of it is gonna be the nursery. Um, we are working on getting like a full nursery going, but it's gonna be a couple of months. So we had to get like a, ch like the crib we have has a changing table with it. It's really beautiful. But for right now, until she's in her permanent room, we're gonna wait on that. So I ended up buying another changing table from Amazon. It was like $109 and it's beautiful. And we'll have her own changing table. So that'll probably go right back here. It's not up yet, but <laughs> I have like a pack and play and stuff. But that'll go right here next to the diaper genie and i think it'll be perfect so those are a couple of things that i really loved there's a couple smaller things that i thought were really important to get that i'm gonna grab right now okay so these are a couple little techie things i do have um a couple of things over there that i wanted to show you guys like the crib bedding and like the mobile and everything like that but everything is like kind of all together um so i don't want to like mess up the organization but i can show you guys these couple of things at the vtech monitors i think this will be really nice and helpful i read good things about it and i've seen people like friends of mine use this they always have like the little monitor so i just thought it was nice it's like wi-fi it says it pans and tilts it has two cameras and it has a nice app where you can see it on the phone i won't need this i don't think until she's like in her own room because i think for the first couple of months she's just going to be in a bassinet near me but um I'll sh i'm excited to show you guys the bassinet i chose but the monitors will be really nice for when like the nursery is all put together okay next is the hatch sound machine we actually got two of these so it's really nice i've heard that once people move the baby out of their room they actually have to have one which i think is like really funny so this one particularly um i think it's just the average hatch sound machine sound machine night light time dries audio baby monitor which i thought was really cool and um it's just like a really nice little machine we have going on here so i think it'll be helpful to get the baby to go to sleep i'm not hard, sure how she's gonna be as a sleeper she's not the most like active baby in the womb um but that doesn't mean anything at all but i'm just making assumptions that mean nothing <laughs> but if it does mean something maybe she'll be like an easy sleeper and she'll just sleep all the time next i have the owlette so i was unsure about getting this and on amazon prime day it went from like 299 to 187 so I was like, you know what i'm gonna buy it it is not the same i hear the old one like was a lot better this one basically just kind of tells you about sleep patterns and it says indicators such as wakings heart rates and movements um, I think it'll just be nice for peace of mind. I had a couple people say you don't need it save your money when I asked on Instagram and then a couple of other people say you know what it's actually like a really awesome thing it gave me so much peace of mind and to me you can't put a price on peace of mind so I did spend the money and I did purchase it and I think I hope it'll be worth it. Um, I have uh, just you know I had a ton of mixed reviews on it just from people but we'll see kind of like how it works from us and i can update you guys if there's anything i don't like or don't recommend in a couple of months you know once i've used some of these products i'll be able to tell you guys in an updated video what i did use what i didn't use and that'll be the same with like my hospital bag let's go ahead and i want to jump into there's some like like little things that i think would be really interesting for you guys to see but i do want to show you like the baby Brezza, if you guys haven't seen that. I have the sterilizer as well as like the the actual machine. And then I also have my bassinet in my room and the pack and play. I think you guys probably know what the pack and play looks like. I do wanna put out a forewarning as I show you guys some of the next products. I don't know if I'm nursing, pumping, or bottle feeding, or I know you could bottle feed if you're pumping and nursing, but, or formula feeding, I have no idea. I have no idea, um, I'm very unsure, so I did buy things for everything. I wanna try everything, and whatever works best for our family, I'm going to do, whatever works best for the baby. So I just wanna put that forewarning out there, because you guys might be 
confused because like I have a pump and I have like breastfeeding supplies and I have formula stuff but my my ideal okay if I'm being blatantly honest and you guys might think that this is crazy for me to put on the internet because I know people are super judgmental of this topic but I'm I don't really care <laughs> um I my ideal I think is like possibly pumping and like supplementing with formula so like formula sometimes and like pumping most of the time I think something along those lines but again I won't know until I have the baby and I try everything and see how it goes so let's go ahead and get into some of those items because those are expensive and convoluted and I'm sure you guys will think some of it's interesting. So this is the Halo Bassinet Lux Swivel Sleeper in Dove Gray. Um, I really didn't pick it based on like color or anything even though our bedroom is like white and gray but I you know I didn't really look at any of that I just kind of looked at the reviews and what I thought would be best for the baby and I thought that this one was really nice. It has this whole control panel where it has lighting, music, uh, vibration, and I wanted to splurge on a bassinet. I think I paid like $220, but it's a regular $350. They had like, I think, I think it was like $270 something maybe with the Memorial Day sale, and then I had like a coupon and a gift card. <laughs> Or something so I paid like maybe two 220 I think for this not that it matters but I wanted to spend a little bit more money I know you guys are probably like well the snooze fifteen hundred dollars I would never I couldn't purchase something like that ever but I wanted to get something really nice and just kind of just spend enough money because this is going to be where she sleeps for a while and I got the infant insert so this is the bassinet this is where she's gonna go and um, not next to the window she'll be on my side of the bed but I just thought this would be cool because this was probably one of the things that I did the most research on because sleep is important safe sleep and um, I was just really excited for her to have a nice little bassinet. So there is the Halo. And right now on Bye Bye Baby, it is, right now on Bye Bye Baby, it's $279.99. We have the pack and play. Don't mind, it doesn't have like the thing that goes over it. But I have some of the, like there's the bassinet instructions. I left the instructions out with everything. This isn't plugged in, but this is the Munchkin Swing. It's like Bluetooth enabled. This is not where it's staying, but I thought that this would be a nice little swing. We have a couple other swings that we will be using, um, but they're not put together yet. They're still in the basement, but I figured this one would be a good one. Um, and I just thought that this was really cool with a little munch. Apologize, the lighting's a little dark in here, but right here I have the baby Brezza. This is the Wi-Fi one. My husband did the research on that, and basically he thought, like just saw that this was a really good one. So um, we did the Wi-Fi baby Brezza for formula feeding, possibly, and then. This is the sterilizer. So I thought that this was really cool. We got this for a shower gift. And honestly, I've used it quite a few times to do like the breast pump um, sterilization after washing it. I've done all the bottles in here. This is a really awesome thing. So, so far I could definitely say I'm obsessed with the Baby Brezza sterilizer. I know there's all sorts of kinds. I don't know what they're like, but this is what we got and we love it. And it's been really helpful and useful. Okay, so here is my dog <laughs> and she is checking out this Love Every Play Gym. So this is super cool. They did send this to me. I wanted to show you guys. Um, this is what it looks like. Once I have it set up, I can't wait to show you guys the baby in it. But it can also be transformed for older ages into like a little tent or something. It gives you everything that it includes, an activity guide, organic cotton, high contrast ball, uh, teething ring, batting ring, teething, like more teething rings, card clips, picture cards, black and white cards, and mirror cards. And you guys can see, if I open this up a little bit, Kind of what it looks like. You can see here's that one teething ring, all the different 
things and love every takes play so seriously and they make sure that they give you guys proper proper things for children of each age um i'm gonna open this up so here is the play gym guide it gives you ways to play expert tips developmental info and then it has different tabs for the different age groups that your baby might be from zero to 12 weeks all the way up to 12 months which i think is really cool and i flipped through this and it just gives you kind of ideas of of you know why your child at that level why they might be you know hitting certain marks or milestones for babies and soon to be toddlers so i think it's really cool there i just love how love every just like takes you through parenthood new parenthood with learning toys but also kind of teaching you the milestones as you go some parents don't know me i really don't know <laughs> so this will be awesome and here are the black and white play cards and I do have a discount code. I'm going to link it down below. And I have a box of toys I want to show you guys really quickly. And then we'll get into like the pump that I chose and um, a couple other okay, items. Now we have two dogs, okay? And they're both not leaving me alone. So I might be going to labor tonight. <laughs> we shall see. Okay, so I do want to show you guys the Love Every. This is the play kit. And I'm super excited about this. This came with a little gift for um, mom and dad as well, which I thought was cute, but it gives you like these little wooden play cards. And I had my little cousin, um, he's like my cousin's baby, he was over and I had to like watch him for a little while. And I had these toys out and he loved them. So this had a string on it. I did end up having the string off on accident, but it had like these little rattles and I thought this was so cute. Little teething toy. And of course it comes with a booklet to kind of explain the milestones and the age range. And of course this box is zero to 12 weeks. So when my baby gets here, I'll be able to kind of like explore these and see what, what she wants to play with and kind of where she is with things. But even these are so cute. They're just kind of like little toys that they can figure life out with. And this mug I thought was so cute. So this was like the gift from Love Every to the parents. And it says, the days are long, but the years are short. And I just thought that that was precious. It'll make a pregnant woman cry for sure. <laughs> and of course, there's like more in here. There's more toys, but I basically wanted to show you guys the gist of it and again i do have a discount code like or a link down below so i will share that with you guys if you're interested in any of these i'm definitely going to sign up for the um play kits so that three to four months or five to six months she can get different play kits and we can figure it out i like that they just take the guesswork out of it and it's just like okay these are toys that are age appropriate for your baby because at 12 weeks it's like oh my gosh or you know younger than that it's like you want to entertain them you want to keep them happy but where do you start and what is going to be educational in the long run as well let's talk breast pump how exciting i'm sure a lot of you guys are like tmi elena tmi but i figured this would be this is a part of it's a huge part of new motherhood and um this was a huge decision for me to make to even decide if i was going to like invest in a breast pump if it was something that i even wanted to try and here's something that we probably should talk about as new moms is the formula shortage and the fear that has been instilled in us um just because there's this fear that you might not be able to feed your baby um and there's a lot of families right now facing that so here i was like you know what i don't want to put myself through something that is uncomfortable or whatever but i'm going to get the supplies i'll figure out how to do it or in what form I want to do it, whether it's breastfeeding or pumping um, and then supplementing with formula. But I wanted to give myself options. So here I have the LV Stride. So it's right here. I know a lot of people recommend Aeroflow. It's a website for um to get pumps through insurance and everything. I did get the LV, like the hand the the one that you didn't have to like hold. It was like hands-free. And it was a nice uh, 
I mean, it looked like a nice pump from the research that I did. But then I heard for some reason that first time moms might not be able to kind of like figure it out. And then I heard that it also like has like a motor issue and it's a ton of money. I want to say it's like five or $600 with insurance. I had paid like 375, but I had talked to somebody at like a lactation store and she said, mm, why don't you come in and like look at the pumps and if you can cancel that order. So I hadn't received the pump or anything. It hadn't even shipped. So I was able to cancel the order. Lucky me. And I was able to go to an actual store. So if you guys have like a medical supply retailer or an actual like place that specializes in breastfeeding and pumping you might want to actually go in store and talk to somebody the place that I went to was amazing they were so knowledgeable so nice and I um, highly recommend them if you're in my area message me and I will tell you all about them um, but basically I have the LV stride here so just kind of showing you guys what it looks like if you guys haven't decided on a pump and you're like gonna be a new mom. I don't know much about this one, to be honest, because I haven't used it yet. I'm excited to try to use it to see if it works or if I like it, but I have like completely taken it apart and um, like sterilized it and everything like that. And I use the baby breast sterilizer for that. So it's completely, completely clean, completely sterilized. I know I just touched it. I mean, I'll sterilize it again, but it's ready to go. I charged it. It has a USB charger. I can't speak much on it because again, I haven't used it. I'm not sure if I'm going to like it, but it has an app like for your phone, which I thought was cool. So it kind of lets you like track the progress of pumping and I think anything that can make your life easier in, in these types of situations, you definitely want to invest. So like I said, peace of mind, Owlette. I don't know if it's really going to give me peace of mind, but somebody said it might, so I'll try it. <laughs> then I have the pump here. I think this might be a little bit easier because it's not totally hands-free, but it's not where you're kind of like trapped to a base you know what i'm talking about the ones with the big bases like i think the spectra has that medulla so i'm just kind of like interested to see i'm excited for like this whole new journey and you guys have like our new moms and you guys picked a pump or you know or you decided to do it a different way like breastfeeding formula feeding and you want to talk about it you can always comment down below but let's keep it super positive because i definitely know how those types of conversations can get um i have so many other things that i want to like talk to you guys about but they're like little care type things like um the Frida brand. I got a ton of like those little tool things that I thought were cool that a lot of people said you need to have if you're a new mom. So I will talk about those in my hospital bag video because this video is a little bit long and I want to get like two videos up while I'm gone. Um, well, I've been gone. So if you guys get an upload from me, you'll probably be like, what is going on but who knows you might be watching this and I might be having my baby if you guys are interested in following me you guys can follow me on Instagram to keep up I wish I would have kept up during this pregnancy and I was going strong to the second trimester even though I was you know dying on the inside from the extreme morning sickness I was having but it just kind of ended from there because the exhaustion basically the exhaustion the migraines all the other joys of pregnancy so I'm gonna end this video here um, of course there's other things like diaper bags and stuff that I could show you guys and how I have everything set up and our clothes but I can save a lot of that for the other video that I'm gonna be doing so I will see you guys soon again in my next video if you like this give it a thumbs up subscribe down below share this video with a friend who might find it interesting and I'll see you guys again soon